Hello, Jeff Buchanan with Roadrunner Magazine. Today I'm riding the brand new Harley Davidson Pan America. I hope you enjoy the review. And if you enjoy what you see here and for a lot of great motorcycle content, hit the subscribe button below. Harley Davidson really upped the game when they entered the adventure market in 2020 with their Pan America. A surprising success directly out of the crate for a first, especially for a first year motorcycle. They've uh, upgraded a few things and we were fortunate enough to get onto the new Pan America Special. Very striking in a bright yellow and white livery. It comes with uh, really nice aluminum uh, hardcore cases and spoke wheels. The engine is a 1250cc V-twin, water-cooled, delivers incredible power and the chassis lets all of that power get tracked really, really well, whether you're talking getting into the throttle on the street or off-road. It's also well balanced. A slightly tall first gear for off-road. Once you get used to it, the bike is fine. It all works very succinctly. However, when you first take off, it does feel a little bit rough around the edges as far as how everything works together. But once you get used to it, the thing is really a lot of fun to ride. A 32 inch tall seat is gonna have some people wanting a little bit lower seated position, but everything falls naturally into place. Bars are nice and wide and come with lever covers. It's all very functional and, and works quite well. 569 pounds wet, however, very narrow uh, profile, courtesy that V-twin engine. Looking for more exciting motorcycle travel, editorial, reviews, news, and resources for planning your next motorcycle tour? Roadrunner. The V-twin, which is a 1250cc, puts out 150 horses, and as I said, it tracks with real purpose. You can certainly take it up to 9,000 RPM, but uh, the sweet spots really are lower down, and that's where the engine is gonna be the happiest. Make real use of that horsepower, use the muscle of the torque, and um, which is rated at 94 pound feet at 6750. A very luscious uh, one-two punch there, as far as torque to horsepower. Relatively quiet, it's got a nice little growl, but it is uh, within reason. When you do get into the throttle, there's a very pleasant and reassuring buzz. It kind of resonates up to the chassis. It uh, really makes you feel like you're riding a motorcycle. Uh, transmission is succinct, uh, predictable shifts, a little bit of throw, a little bit of lengthy throw in the lever, but nothing that's, uh, that's going to be too disconcerting. At freeway speeds, the Pan America is incredibly planted. Um, makes for an incredible long distance traveling machine. At the same time, the bike has incredible nuance as a sport bike. You can get incredibly aggressive in canyons with it. It's got wonderful lean angle and plenty of clearance, so you're rarely going to touch down, if at all. The Pan America Special comes with a host of advanced electronics. Wheel lift mitigation, enhanced cornering ABS, electronic linked braking, traction control, and drag torque slip control. All of these tools assure safety and also make sure that all of that power beneath you is getting to the ground and is completely manageable. These attributes really help riding in the wet. When you're moving off the pavement onto the dirt, on the fly, you can remove the ABS from the rear wheel and severely limit the influence on the front. The Pan America is really eager to go fire roads and uh, depending on your willingness to take it up some serious single track, it works incredibly well everywhere. A bash plate is a really nice touch to keep the, um, the undersides of that V-twin in good shape over rocks and, and various debris. The test mount we had had the optional adaptive ride height. This semi-active system automatically lowers ride height at low speeds and when stopped, granting a more confident reach to the ground. It's a really nice touch. If you're concerned about seat height, this would, be an, uh, that would definitely be an, an option to look into. Brakes and wheels, what can I say? Uh, spoke wheels and uh, the ABS, which works really beautifully. Getting into it very aggressively, the bike stayed stable with no oscillation between the front or the back. If I had a negative quip about this bike, it would be that at full running temperature, if you're stuck at a long stoplight, the header pipes are gonna toast your leg a little bit. So you're gonna have to learn to kind of um, give that some room or hang your leg in a different place. Um, it is quite warm, especially in the Ca California summer. I really felt it. The kickstand seems to be the only element on the bike that doesn't fit the Pan America. It's a little odd thing and it's a little bit hard to find without looking. 
The arc of its movement requires you to sometimes lean the bike, depending on the surface, to the right in order to retract it. Overall, these complaints pale against the long list of positives of the Pan America. I'm really just nitpicking with that stuff at this point. If you're going to acquire a Pan America, especially the special, be ready to talk because riders and non-riders are going to ask you what the bike is. That beautiful logo on the side, once they recognize it's a Harley, they are going to be shocked. Every time I ran into people, they were intrigued to ask me about the bike's performance and how, how it was doing in all different aspects. And what was really nice was the die-hard Harley riders uh, really appreciated the bike and were very proud. The prices tested on our 2023 Pan America Special was $24,288. Go and enjoy yourself. I hope you enjoyed this review. For more content like this, subscribe to our channel. Thank you.